in last video we have discussed that if you will uh, try to console log and try to check in this particular variable this this variable uh, is uh, just an object that have a lots of information related to app component so if you will console then what uh, the properties you will get, you will get what the information you will get so you can see there are lots of information you are getting in the component instance you can see all the app component related thing you are getting uh, for example you can see here the api api is the instance of the services that hold the post data okay and there is a form builder you are using the form builder and then uh, it is a init form init form is uh, just uh, for a reactive form instance uh, you can see this is the init form okay so there are lots of information is available so if you will go in prototype you can check there is a ng on in it there is a submit method so lots of property is available you can access any of these things so it's a super easy and similarly if you will try to check the debug element then in that debug element you can see there is a native node uh, and in the native node or maybe native element let's go to the native element uh, and you can see there is a div and this div is basically representing this particular html uh, section this is the form okay so th this is representing this one debug element so if you are running this uh, test case in browser then uh, you can use this native element otherwise you can use from the debug element both are the same in the native element you can see the the pro the, there is the same they both are referring to the same thing the both are referring to this particular html okay so you can use any of these things but yes if you are running the test case in browser then the recommended way is to use the debug element and then native element uh, so yeah this is a uh, actually you can use and again it have a, from the debug element it have a component instance as well so the same thing which you are getting here the component instance so you can use uh, means everything whatever you are uh, getting from here you will get it from the debug element as well so you can use the debug element because it's actually uh, my preferable way to do that because generally you are running a test case not in maybe you cannot uh, run in the browser as well okay so i hope you uh, get some idea so in this way you will able to access all of this method and property including template url so this is actually your requirement to access these things and you will able to access these things you with the help of this fixture now uh, let's try to find out how you can uh, access a, a particular HTML because without accessing the HTML you cannot uh, update or you cannot uh, add any user detail okay you cannot change the user and password so if you want to change the user and password then you have to access these things so how you can access it's very simple so for example I am going to uh, check it uh, for example uh, user and the password so I am going to create one variable which is a const and there is one for the user and is equal to it should be const user is equal to again the fixer dot debug element as I said dot native element if you will use the native element now you are at this particular place you are here now you have to select a particular input field then only you will able to set their value so for better clarity if, I, if you will console log then you will get the information so let's write here the console dot log and see what uh, what the data you are getting in console now uh, if you will check these things you will find it will take some time you can see that there is one div within the div this is a form 
and this form is nothing but the same form which is you you defined in this particular app component dot html so this is the very similar so now you want to use any uh, suppose this one user field so how you can do so there are one id you can use the document uh, get element by id because now you are at this particular uh, selector means it means uh, you are here in the component in this page okay so you can either use the document uh, get element by id or maybe a query selector so query and then these are not a part of the uh, you can say uh, angular this is a just a normal javascript so i hope you know how you can select a particular uh, section in html using the javascript so this is the query selector and within that query selector i am going to uh, write here the hash because i am uh, selecting the id so id for the id we are gender we are writing the hash and then we will copy it from here so this is the user u s e r so i'll just write it u s e r so now you are able to access this particular uh, user okay so if i will console log then you will get some clarity so let's see what the data you are getting so it will take some time to compile now it's get compiled you can see this input field get selected this is the username now you can do certain thing here okay you can add their type as well so uh, because you are using in a type script you have to use uh, their type as well so uh, type will be html element html element uh, html input element so html input element this one similarly i will do it for the password so write it for the password so here it is a pss and here i will also add pss now you have done for the username and password it's all right now you using this particular variable you can change their value so how you can do how you can do so just you have to write here the value as you know you in this way you can change the value value is equal to let's say i am going to uh, write it suppose that world gyan angular something like that so let's say uh, uh, angular because this name is already used so let's try something different and then pass password dot value is equal to randomly i am adding any of this value so now i have added a username value it's all right now uh, since you change the value but the event never occurred event is whenever you will type uh, in input field then what will happen on the on the typing there will be one event will get generated which is the on change event but here there is no any type uh, no any event get uh, triggered it just change the value programmatically so it will not uh, work as expected because change detection will not work because you just change the value uh, from the dom from this particular input field uh, user you just change the value uh, event never happen so how you can do this thing so you can do with the help of the dispatch event this is also to uh, like adding a dis uh, means a event you can use a dispatch event okay this is a part of the javascript so you can write here the user user dot dispatch event 
dispatch event is the method and then you have to add the event what event you want to dispatch for this particular field user field so here I write it uh, new and then uh, event and within that event you can write it here like input something like that but why there is an error this should be in capital form because you are using the new keyword so uh, generally class uh, if you are using the class in javascript then pattern is uh, something the first letter will be capital so remember okay if you if you will use the any con, uh, class constructor or maybe function constructor so the first letter will be capital this is actually a pattern uh, it it will be follow throughout the javascript the similar thing for the password as well so just i am writing it here for the password now it's done so now what you have done you just change the value of this user and the password and you did a dispatch event now the next is that this after doing these things uh, you are checking that this value is reflecting in this particular component or not okay so how you can check so let's check it so i will do a console log first console dot log and then uh, we will check with the help of the component instance so here i will write picture dot component instance dot this is the init form so in init form dot if you will do the value then you will find the value see whenever you are making any changes in the html field then same thing will also get reflected in your form so just you are trying to uh, try to check that after making these changes you are getting their uh, data uh, in the component or not okay component re reactive form instance or not so now it's done let's check it in console log what the output you are getting so you are getting the user uh, you are getting object which is the user is angular and the password is something which you have defined here so it means it is working absolutely fine okay so uh, now since uh, this test case will get passed so uh, for uh, getting the test case passed you can write it in the expect this is the matcher method so in the expect you are expecting that this value will be equal to dot you will write equal to equal to equal uh, will able to compare the object so to equal and then you have to write the object this object is this one so let's copy copy object and i am going to add it here now in this uh, case what will happen if the component instance uh, init form and the value will be also get changed which is the user is uh, angular and password is something which uh, you have changed it only from the html then same thing is reflecting or not you can check so now you you got an idea how you can access a uh, component uh, like component instance all of the method and property from the component or the template url part so here in this test case you are able to access the uh, template url part and the component instance uh, component uh, method and property in the next video we will try to check it uh, for the uh, another test case which is if you will make any changes in component then same thing is reflecting in html or not and uh, and then in the next uh, yeah so we'll discuss in the next video thank you very much